Good morning, church. We look forward to seeing you guys in person tomorrow. Um, but before we do that, we're going to gather online one more time to praise the Lord before we pray. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our final 
digital day. It's the last day of our online prayer gatherings. Tomorrow, hopefully, Lord willing, we'll gather together in person at 6.30 in the worship center for our in-person live prayer gathering to close out the month of May. But for this one here today, um, I want us to use Revelation 21.4 to conclude at least the uh, online prayer gatherings. And what a tremendously beautiful verse this is in the final book of the Bible, which gives us a vision of what God will do when he consummates his kingdom. Here's what Revelation 21.4 says to us. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. You know, in this verse, uh, I've circled the word death, the word mourning, the word crying, <clears throat> and the word pain. Those are words that all indicate suffering, don't they? Those are words we think about <clears throat> when we're enduring difficulties and, and experiencing hardship. He also says those are former things, like when the kingdom is consummated and Christ returns, that way of life will be done. Our suffering will be over. This is just a, a comforting promise from the Lord that there is a day coming when there will be no more suffering. He delineates what that means, yes, but in an overarching way, the days of suffering will end. In fact, death will be no more. And so in light of this promise and this prophecy about what is to come, let us pray what John actually encourages us to pray in Revelation 22. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, come quickly. And again, this is not to escape problems. It's because we so desire to see Christ personally and to be with him in his glory. And we long for this day when he wipes away every tear, when he removes death and pain and mourning and crying. We long for that day, not necessarily to escape something, like I said, but because we love Jesus so much. So church, can we on this final digital day, can we pray for a few minutes? Lord Jesus, come quickly.